Okay, wow. How's it going, everybody? I uh, didn't know when the next time I'd be making a video for any kind of game would be. It's been a long time since I posted uh, anything, to be honest. The last video I did was actually on Fragpunk, and it's been a long time since I did anything for the finals, and I'm sad about that, and I miss everybody, all you guys, uh, but haven't been playing as many games recently. What I want to talk about today is I can genuinely say the only game I've been looking forward to since I stopped kind of making content for the finals. I wasn't a content creator in any way, let me be very clear. Uh, but since I stopped making those few videos I did for the finals, which I really enjoyed. And that is the other game by Embark Studios, Arc Raiders. Arc Raiders, a uh, lot of press recently. They released their gameplay trailer, which we're going to go over. And what we're going to do in this video, actually, is we're going to go through all of the released, officially released content from the Arc Raiders YouTube channel. And we're going to go through all of that, all, all of these um, trailers, starting from the first one they released, which was the reveal and gameplay trailer, which was, boy... December 9th, 2021. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's been four years. So, well, three years, but it feels like a lot longer. And so I'm a little bit late to the show. I didn't realize that this verbal NDA would be lifting and you can just talk about the game now. So I guess that's the thing because obviously uh, all over my recommendations page on YouTube is every big gaming creator doing a 10 minute video about Arc Raiders. I'm not really interested in doing a 10 minute video. I want to talk about the game in depth, as in depth as I can, because I played both the closed alpha in June of 2023 and I played uh, the tech test last month. My brother and I actually played the hell out of both of those alphas. I, I, the tech test was still, I guess it was a closed beta, the one that happened last month. But we played the heck out of these two um, tech tests and we. This is the only game, really, really, for both of us, and you know, specifically me, this is the only game that I'm looking forward to playing ah, out of anything that's releasing in the coming six months. So, really hoping for an early 2025 release. I know they've talked about um, another test before the end of 2024. I think that'll happen. I think that'll happen sometime around Christmas. That's just my guess. I'm not entirely sure. I've been super wrong about the timeline in the past when, I, when I've been talking to my friends about it. And so what we're going to do today, like I said, we're just going to go over all the content they've released, all the trailers and everything. We're going to, I'm going to explain what I know about it since I've, I've probably played, actually I could check. Yeah, so I've played over 35 hours of, of this game already in the uh, tech testing and it's, it's a special game, I think. I mean, it, it's got a lot of criticism for not sticking to their original PVE extraction shooter. They added PVP and now it's PVPVE. We've all heard this. We all know this. Uh, but I still think that as a third-person shooter, and as people have noticed already, I think some of the most immaculate sound design in any game I've played since, like, Battlefield 1, it's just fantastic. So let's get into it. I don't want to ramble anymore here. This is the first trailer, like I said, released way back in December 9th, 2021. We're going to go through all this stuff. There's a, there's a song in this, here, in this, here, in this video, so we're going to have to view it for the song. But let's just watch and... Talk, talk through no stuff. I'll pause it occasionally just to talk about a couple of different things. So this map is the Dam map. There's three maps, Dam, Spaceport, and Buried City as of right now. This is the Dam map. Kings. So right there, barren. this is a barren, it's called a barren husk. Now, it will be in the video later on, they're going to fight one of these things, but uh, on the Spaceport map, which is in the previous tech test, the map that I've spent the most time on, you can loot these things from the top. You can get like uh, special parts from them. So, Queens. Visually, too, a pretty striking game. Runs the relatively well, too. I have a not Killing new GPU. I got a 2060 Super. You know, around 100, this 110 frames. Is our Drops home. sometimes to 80, 90, but our very playable. This is Spaceport. Let me just go back real quick. Home. This is Spaceport right here. Uh, disclosure, since I guess we're just allowed to talk about the game now, you can go to the top of this. You could, this, it, I'll tell you what, 
It's got some zip lines, as you'll see later in these videos. It's got some zip lines, and you can go all the way up. Not a short zip line ride. You can go up, you can stand right up here. You can loot these rooms up here. It's very cool. Another thing that I really enjoy about the, the game in general, it's we will not die in the shadows. visual design. So a lot of the architecture, it looks like Frank Lloyd Wright architecture. We're going to have to mute it here because of this song. But I'll tell you what, the architecture in this game looks like Frank Lloyd Wright architecture. Now what happened right here is this is this is the cutscene you get whenever you're actually going up to the surface from your hole down in the ground. It's called Speranza, and that's where you that's the, that's where the hideout is under the ground. It's a big hideout. So now this is the dam map again, and the, they're fighting Ark. These Ark are hornets. These are hornets. A couple different kinds of Ark. I'm, I'm I don't really remember all of them. Actually, I might. So there's the hornets. There's the snitches. There's the rocketeers. There's the bison. There's the barren husk, which we haven't played against yet in any of the tech tests. This is a oh, that's a wasp. That's a wasp. Uh, and the rocketeers, which shoots, that's a bit right there in the middle there. That was a rocketeer. Um, well, right here. This is the rocketeer. And so those are the arc that they currently have. I'm sure they'll be adding more throughout the throughout the next tech test. Now, this is a barren husk. Uh, I've only seen, I guess, dead versions of this. I've you, They don't, haven't ha not had any of... Uh, these walking ones in the tech tests yet and i'll tell you what it looks pretty wild going against one of these things i mean look at that look at the size of it it's crazy so i haven't read too much into it but apparently this game has changed a lot also those jump pads don't exist by the way i'm sure they'll be coming in i'm sure so that so this is obviously the game gameplay reveal trailer and so there was going to be, there was always going to be some things in this video that wasn't, uh, you know, that weren't, you know, going to be in the early part of the game. So this, that's just another barren husk for sure. They're huge. Though. It's crazy. Enlist resist. That's the tagline. Okay. So that's, that came out in uh, December of 2021. Great. Good stuff. This one was for the closed alpha that I mentioned that I played in June. So, June of 23, closed alpha. Let's are, see if they have anything else. Notice this one has from. some different weather. We're just going to see kind of what else they we have in this video as compared to the other trailers. If you want to live here, this is, again, Speranza. You so you, you'll have a workshop. You'll have like a, a living space in Speranza. They'll have, they'll be like a, it's the lobby, essentially, right? And so you'll have access to all your loot once you come back. And things such as that. Beware of the machines. And what's crazy about this is that others. we played this alpha in June. Like we heard them, nothing for, the as the title says, or as the thumbnail says, 15 months. We heard nothing for 15 months. We thought the game was canceled. You know? Absolutely crazy. So that's what happens right there, what you just saw was what happens when a raider is knocked. I'm sure you've already seen that, but a flare goes up. Not killed, because you can revive your teammates in this game. This is what happens when a raider gets knocked. There Big are flare. No out there. Sneaking up. So this guy's holding a melee weapon, and you'll see in the gameplay video at the very end that you use your melee video to break and enter into certain rooms, uh, certain uh, things around the map that you can loot, like something like an old car, you know, like the trunk of an old car, something like that. Not, not exactly that, but... You use it as essentially a pickaxe to get into whatever you're trying to loot in so special situations. Back. You can also hit people with it. You can hit them hard, too. I'll tell you that much. All right, so that's what they had. Nothing really in that one, as you would expect. Now, this is the short one they had for the Gamescom teaser. Right away, we are on uh, we're on the Buried City map. Where do I'm going to go, go ahead and here? start it from the beginning. They use this little cutscene quite a bit. So I guess what we're doing here is kind of a deep dive on... That's a, that's a nice visual right there. We're doing a deep dive on the trailers of Ark Raiders. That's really all we're doing. You've told us nothing. So birds in this game, there are birds that will fly up. Notice a flare back here in the background. There are birds that will fly up and away in response to you getting close to them. So that's kind of a visual and audio cue that lets uh, other players know where the heck you are. Nothing of this place. Laser. 
got to rocketeer uh, in the streets of Buried City. Buried City was a new map for the most recent tech test. The first tech test only had dam and spaceport. Now, he, this guy right here is looting one of the arc that they shot down. Rocketeer in the background, I uh, think, flanked by hornets. I want to say those are hornets. Hornets are wasps. Snitches are the smallest ones. Also, I haven't seen it yet. I don't even know if it's in any of the trailers. There's a little rolling ball that rolls around. It's actually very cool. It rolls around and comes up to you and, like, scans you, and then it lights you on fire. It's great. So this guy's looting one of the arc that they shot down. You can shoot them down and then loot them. This person's watching. Look at us now. It's another arc right there. So this this was also another new one for the tech test. Look at us. These now. little tiny spider things. If you've ever played X Defiant and the spider jumps up on your face and you hate every second of it, that's kind of what these things are. I, these these were my least favorite enemy to fight at least like cool kind of you know just just annoying like the rolling ball that set lights on fire is cool the rocketeers are cool this one for me was just more annoying because they can go partially invisible and they're just little spiders that jump on your face you can kill them really easy you can kill them with a pistol but just annoying now that was something up above that guy might have been a barren husk like i said still haven't played against Everything a barren husk lose. in game uh, and uh, a working one at least Okay, that was that was the teaser they released at Gamescom. Coming 25, yeah, we know. This was the other short one they released for the tech test. Now, right here is the cutscene. Whenever you get into your, I don't know, your tube, uh, your, your whatever this is to get you to the surface, then you'll you'll see another cutscene to fly up the tube. This is what happens right before you get in. You load into the map, so you hit ready up. It loads you in, and this happens. Yep, shuts it, and there we go pretty cool way to load in I feel this is buried city again big building here at buried city looks I don't know like an old hotel maybe again very cool architecture we've already seen this here's another look at buried city from an, a different angle now buried so look at these buildings over here buried in sand and that's consistent throughout all these buildings a lot of them some of them are actually completely buried you can only see like the roof a lot of them are like this, half and half. This cool architecture on the inside. Cool style. 80s sci-fi is what I've, people have said. I wasn't around in the 80s, so I don't, I don't freaking know. Arc Raiders, what do you know? Sign up for a chance to play. We did that. Fantastic. Now, here's the big one. The gameplay reveal. This is what got all the attention because now we're allowed to talk about it. Two days ago, Arc Raiders is a multiplayer it's got 270,000 views just about. Adventure. Set in a distant future here on Earth. Let's let the woman talk. Players start in Speranza. Like I said, one of the this is Speranza. Now, this is actually a new little video cutscene that I hadn't seen before this gameplay trailer. Kind of reminds me in a way, if you ever played the game The Cycle, which for as cool as that game was, it just never caught on. I think there were some issues with the, the developers and things like that, but it was a cool game. But it ended up being a very niche game that I played and none of my friends did. So this is Speranza. This is like your home base. The few places in the Rust Belt that is relatively safe from arc machines that occupy the surface. She mentioned the Rust Belt. Now here's the map. Okay, can we? Relatively safe from arc machines that occupy the surface. There are thousands of. This is the map of I think everything. So you notice up here it says our home. Oh, it mentions the points of interest down here. The thing is though, I think like think this is like. Dam and this is like or this is dam and this is spaceport because this is the dried up red lake so this is definitely dam right here but this is a map kind of like almost a 3D printed map of the whole um, of all the maps combined and then we have this little hamburger down here thank the you people living down here and there is always a need for vital materials from the world above the raiders are the ones who put themselves again at this risk, is the cutscene both from Ark as well as other rival raiders for a price. For a price, it is premium prices. That players can reach different parts of the Rust Belt through a network of repurposed tunnels. Yep. Okay, right away, here's what we're dealing with. Here's the players. Top bar is shields, second bar is health. Three players on a team maximum. You can load in solo, duo, or trio. Over here, we have the weapon that this player is using the Berletta pistol single uh, semi-automatic single shot pistol 
This is her melee weapon, this is her pistol, and this is a healing item. Uh, one of the many healing items you can use in the game. These are her binoculars right here. So let's go. I, I think it's a she. I don't know why I keep saying her. Couldn't tell you. So this is from October. This is the one I played. This is from last month. It was the second, uh, second tech test. I think you could play. I played both of them. There might have been three. One before June 23, but I only played two. The raider we are following is on a quest. A job to obtain a seed vault from a research facility deeper into the city. Seed vault. Again, this guy that I keep just deeper missing. This city. guy over here. Using his... Notice, right here. Using his melee weapon to loot this electrical box-looking thing. You can hear that noise. The others in the squad are That's your inventory capacity right here. She has two of one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 18, two of 18 full right there. And you can carry per slot. You can actually carry kind of a lot of like rubber parts, plastic parts. Cool supplies, some rare parts. Uh, not much to say here. This is just the beginning. You're on a bridge. And their best lead is a pharmacy nearby. These people, I guess, are trying to go find meds. You could loot the bottom of that bus. Good view of the map from up here. Kind of a parking garage looking place over here. If we can get a good one. As you're going to see, a flare goes up here. Arc over here on the top left. So talk a about the flare. A red flare is a signal of a raider getting knocked down. Not but killed, knocked down. you never down. really know what happened there until you go look. Right. Could have been a fight between raiders or Ark. You never know. Now, let's talk about this. Okay. Here is the Buried City map. In Calabretta. So, red buildings, high level of arc. Over there. They should hover. Okay, now look at this here. So, she's hovering over. Again, why do I say she? They're hovering over. The, he or she. Who cares? I don't care. Uh, hovering over this building right here, this Galleria. Arc presence medium. That's why it's yellow. Confirmed arc activity. Caution is advised. Commercial parts. This legend over here tells you if they were to scroll down, would tell you what kind of parts or loot is in these areas. Very helpful. Let's go over the map more so here. So she should, yeah. So again, these are the less inhabited buildings. These are the most inhabited, most dangerous buildings inhabited by Ark, of course. Train station hatch. Hatches are extraction points you can only use if you have a hatch key, a raider hatch key. You can purchase those from traders. You can also find them around the map. Western station. This map has an extract of metros, of a metro system. And so... That's how you get out. You have to call the train, the tram, the metro, whatever you want to call it, and it'll get you out. Now, down here, you might not notice commercial loot right here, right at Santa Maria Houses, but a residential building. So these are old apartments right here. Tells you, gives you a lot of information on the place you're going, which is all important. Over here, tracking your quests, pretty straightforward. You can also track recipes, very convenient map and then your inventory and challenges so when you hit the tab button this is what comes up let's continue let's go there zip line right here movement actually surprisingly good in this game for a third person extraction shooter you have zip lines you have dive rolling like dodge rolling and you have a a personal zip line that you can use what's that called again a zip gun i think so the movement is surprisingly good Birds fly off the zip line. This person's a nut. They're playing with motion blur on. It does look better. It looks like a movie. Pulls out her binoculars here. Let's go to that tower. And again, just the art style. It's just nice. It's cool. Not too many games that look like this. Now there is fall damage. You saw them take some fall damage there. They're gonna. They're trying to push this fight. And the Ark is going to end up fighting them. And you saw here, let's go back real quick. You saw here, see how it says Pharmacia? So right here is where they're going to enter in about a minute. Also, just 
real quick, if you've enjoyed the video so, uh, so far, please go ahead down and subscribe to the channel. Um, I usually do most of my videos with a webcam. Uh, let me know if you would prefer no webcam or my webcam on. Thanks. Now, a cool thing that happens whenever you shoot these arc is they carry their momentum throughout their fall. So say you damage one of the fans or whatever, one of the engines. Whenever you do that, the direction that it's flying, it goes down at like an angle. It's all physics-based. So see how it comes down at an angle there? Crashes into the ground. You can then go loot that. Here they go into the pharmacy looking to complete that challenge. They've reached the pharmacy now. Looting in here for a Let's bit. It looks like they are probably the first ones here. here. But you can never Audio be sure. cues coming from so your teammates. Maybe you ping stuff. This is all... See, this is what this is what you can do as well. She just put up a little scroll wheel that you can talk. There's a couple, you know, specific lines that you can say out loud, and other players will hear it, and you can say like, "Hey, I'm I'm a friendly," or "Don't shoot," or things like that. Don't shoot! I'm a friend. Don't shoot. You wanna split the loot? Uh oh! Can't split the loot anymore. So pretty Making nice, efficient is not easy. But that wheel doesn't mean it they've got happen. there for communicating. Short communication wheel. Short comms. Smoke grenades going out on the left. You do have those. Uh, in the middle here, you'll notice this is the stamina bar. There is a stamina bar that you have stims that can refill and hold your stamina bar up as uh, high as it can go for a while. You have shields as well. I didn't mention I mentioned them at the beginning, but you have um, armor repair tools, and then you have a myriad of health healing uh, items. Wasp. That guy's fighting a wasp. So when she pinged it, it said wasp, and that says on the right side Careful. as well, middle That's right. Over here, if you're looking where everybody's talking, right there. So a lot of audio cues in this game that are very helpful once you've played the game for a number of hours. You know what's happening when you hear these audio cues. Ooh, nice noise. They have some nice noises in this game. This is it. Some plastic. Looks like they got what they came for. And now it's time to get out of here. We're gonna get into a fight here. Again, third person so you can switch shoulders. Very important. Just turn their flashlight on just like they had when they were looting. A little bit of a firefight here. She has a silencer on her Berletta. Should be shooting, not pinging there, but hey, what are you going to do? I'm going to go ahead and fight in this, I think, old parking garage? Yeah, old parking garage. So they show us a lot in this... In this, uh... Gameplay video. They show us a lot of the map, a lot of the gameplay mechanics. Her teammates both get knocked here. Notice how the flares went up. And they jump over the edge here. And that's all we got. Engaging kind of. They're going to talk a little bit here at the spot. end. Other times, being cautious and staying out of sight is the better option to make it out. Rocketeer. For Raiders that's a Baron Husk. That's what you can do. So this guy is actually looting the top of it. This is one of those huge machines which are going to be wild to fight. You can get up all the way up there and you can spell this filled with special opportunities loot. and secrets. How like I didn't take damage, I have no idea. And what that person did right there Some was secrets. shoot up a fake flare. So you can buy raider flares that, you know, if people see that, oh, they come running, what's going on? You can kind of bait them. If you know where to look. Space probe, and you'll see one coming down here very soon you'll as well. That's just another thing to loot. There's the Baron Husk again from the original. Of arc machines roam unchecked. And I forget what those are called. This guy's running away from a bison. They keep people call it spiders. Everybody Where on these YouTube videos I'm watching are calling it spiders. Unclear. You'll need to be Space probe coming down here, uh, sponsored by SpaceX. Thanks. Uh, comes down. This is you can loot this for special parts as well. With what you have, Look at this. Sometimes make plans on the fly. Thank you. That's what they're what doing right there. To risk to get what you sideways want. space Ultimately, probe. That, you so right there, big clip right to there. To get what you want. Somebody using the zip gun to go all the way, and it happens very quickly. 
and you can't, I don't think you can take any, you can like zip, if you're on top of a building, you can zip to the ground and take no fall damage. That's something Ultimately, else you can do. This guy, see how quick that is? You get to decide what kind of raider you'll become. Shaping this guy's your using own the Renegade legacy. Battle Rifle, so single shot. And your home. Eight round mag. And that's it. And that's it. So, bit of a long-winded video, but I just, this is just a game that I'm excited about and I want to talk about it. And maybe you learned a couple things. If you did, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Thanks for watching. And my next video is going to be whenever we can actually record gameplay of Arc Raiders. So we'll see you then. Bye.